content, but I just wanted to let you know, I'm going to try and I don't even know if the record will work on zoom. I've actually never used it. So, you know, so I'm going to let Igor in. I see that he's there. I got to keep right. an eye on that. Right. I okay. thought I had opened up the room, so I didn't need to do that. Oh, Nicole's right. joining. Okay. It's going to be a good crew. Awesome. Cool. So, okay. So kettles are on. So I don't know. Okay. Before that, I'm curious, what are you guys drinking? So uh, I think uh, Brandon is drinking a uh, shupuar. Yep. Uh, anybody else is drinking? I'm drinking a, a shomei right Ooh. now. Nice. nice. I have oh. some jinmei on. Jinjun mei? Yes. Oh, oh delish. Wow. Delish. One of my favorites. <laughs> and uh, David, are you are you brewing anything right now? He, oh, he's not connected to audio yet, so he may still be connecting. And Igor is seems to be connected but muted. But anyway, so Igor, are you brewing up some tea? I think that's Igor's feed there that just went on. Nice. Right. Okay. So we got you on the camera now, Igor. Oh, nice. And he's already showing off a teapot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Nicole. Oh, wow. Okay. There's more. Why don't I shut off this? So sure. that I, I don't want the internet to have any issues. So yeah, yeah, I think we can sure. we can let the Instagram go for sure. Hey, Instagram people, if you want to keep watching or see what guys have for teapots or any teawares, join us on Zoom. The link is in the uh, profile. profile. Okay, see you yeah. there later. Cool. So we're just going to make try and make sure our internet stays stable by getting rid of as many streaming services yeah. as possible. I think we've got it, enough, folks. Let's... Let's, let's just let's start finish it. the YouTube as well. Okay. All right. So YouTube folks, we're going to, we're going to go end this stream. And if you want to hop over to zoom, the uh, link is in our community section. It's and all over our social media. So we'll see you guys in the zoom. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. So I just dismissed this for now, I guess. Yeah. Just... Okay. Get back to the zoom. Back to okay. meeting and we're full screen. Awesome. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, we're here to check out your teaware. So this yes. is we're being kind of tea voyeurs now, uh, but it was you guys. It was your guys' idea, so this is going to be great. So I'm kind of flexible. Uh, How do you guys? Does want anybody to have a real big pile of teaware they want to show off, and we'll kind of we'll try and spate. Get you feed you in when I heard you on coming online. I quickly threw a bunch of stuff on my tea table, so I'll see if I can get <laughs> that in, awesome. in shot for you. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! Um, let's see. Ooh. Whoa, okay, okay, you got a, you got a um, serious stash. Just a second, oh, wow. <laughs> this is not working very well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, don't break them, right. Okay, I see, I see everybody um, looks like they're still intact. All right. Let's see. Oh, had a heart attack. <laughs> I love the table too. Oh my God. Wow. That is a really nice tea table. So, yeah. How many do you have there, like 10? Uh, I think I have 17 right now. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So you're, you're probably in a teapot support group at this point then. <laughs> <laughs> I probably need it. Yes. That is awesome. So do you want to uh, show us a couple of your faves maybe at least? Uh, or the most used? Yeah. Or the unique one? Whatever you stories? feel like yeah. showing off. I'd love to. Uh... Let's see. This is one that's all hand carved. Oh, that's oh, pretty. That's, uh, it's that's... got some relief on it, huh? It's the flower. Is that the? Yeah, peony is. Peony. Oh yes, muda. Yes, yes, peony. I think. Nice. That's a drag egg. That's nice. What do you? What tea do you use for that teapot? That one is actually aged uh, raw pour. Oh. It's nice. Nice. I like the form of it too. It's like a, almost like a booby pop, but with a little. <laughs> I don't know the name for the Okay, you don't have to. No, he doesn't remember the real name, only the booby pot. <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> oh, that's real nice. This is one of my favorite. The Chaojo. Oh, this is a Chaojo one. Okay. And I use that one for my uh, dance songs. 
Oh, and nice I, match. I use the three, the three cups and yeah, chow yeah. Jo style. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that's cool. Do you find that um, that has a major taste difference between using the chow Jo ni vis-a-vis -vis the zicha clay teapot? I would, I've never actually tried um, comparing the chow Jo clay with, with say Juni or something like that right, to right. that tea, so I don't know. Right, right. right. The question came up the other day on, I forget where it came at us from, but we've also... Instagram. Somebody asked us about the chow Jo and uh, Yi Xin, because myself didn't have that side by side. Like, for example, I have a... Uh, uh, Zisha clay teapot for Feng Huang Dan Tong, but I don't have the, the uh, Chao Zhou one for Feng Huang Dan Tong. And mm -hmm. in general, my feeling is like uh, clay are, are not as big of the difference. I don't know. Right. What can do you we, guys think? So Chao Zhou, can we clarify for everybody and myself, because I'm a bit lost actually. Are the Chao Zhou the line? Like the... Chao Zhou, they also have the clay but it's different than zisha clay it's okay. harder like it's not as okay. porous okay. correct me if i'm not right okay i'm not a very very uh know a lot about just clay itself. okay so it's actually different clay types both teapots mm -hmm. okay and um it's a lot like the juni clay but it's rougher it, it, it seems to be more yeah more porous i think right, right. okay, okay. Hmm. i don't have one. Oh, that'd be interesting yeah. so where like, we Second here, <laughs> like this by comparison would be a Juni teapot, and it's you can see how shiny and you know it's a, it's a it's a really high fired one. Mm, right, really pretty. I love that shape. And um, would the kilns be different too? Like where we visited is that? Oh, that's porcelain. I'm that's getting mixed porcelain. up. I'm getting mixed yeah. up. <laughs> We visited in 2019 um, some porcelain kilns, and I'm getting mixed up, but maybe someday we can go visit those uh, teapot kilns. And I, I understand that the Chaojo ones are spun on a wheel as opposed to built on a, on a little turntable. Mm. Oh, interesting. So more like Western potting, right? Where they've got the, like the, it's just spins continually and they form it. Is that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. well, that's awesome. Do you have any special funky shaped teapot or something? Do you collect those? Um, let's see. Um, let's... Uh, they're mostly all classics. Like, like this is a fangu. Right, right. Oh, nice. And uh, let's see. This is an interesting one. This one has a very large opening on the top, and yeah, I use that nice. one for, for rock tea. I was <laughs> going to say that was exactly what I was thinking. That's a gorgeous pot. It's yeah. it's got that uh, like a, a squarish edges, but it's a it's a is it was it a round shape? The um, if you look down from the top down. Um, see, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that. I like that. That's really pretty. I like that. Oh, yeah, definitely with rock tea. Oh, I got a bunch of people wanting in here. Got to admit, hang on a bit. I'm just gonna make sure everybody. Oh, it's just it's Joseph Burton. Okay, so there's not a whole lineup. Whew. That's awesome. Oh, that's a really nice one. So that's j any rock tea goes in that one. I think we're breaking up a bit. Um, so I wanted to. Um, does anybody does anybody else want to take a turn? Maybe uh, jo Joseph, you've popped up on the screen. Do you got any teapots you're wanting to show off tonight? Sure. I I don't have any teapots. I've got one coming in the mail, um, but the mail. So um, <clears throat> this is my favorite guy one. It's sort of got a rusty glaze colored glaze on it, and I like it a lot. Um, because I'm a blacksmith, so I spend a lot of time around metal and rust, and this, I, I quite like the look of it, right? Nice, it just, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's a lot of fun. It's small, 100 milliliters, so it's what I use almost every day for my personal stuff. Um, I love the finish. Can you shoot it up a little closer to the camera? I want to get a, if, if it will focus, I'm not ooh. sure if it will, but. Let me see if I can get the light. 
That's yeah. Do do your best. It's tricky. It's always. Oh. Yeah, I like that finish. Oh, and it's got a yeah. bit of a pebble to it, huh? It's got a bit of a like a I don't know a pebble finish, a rougher finish, just like a cast iron pot would. Yeah. Almost. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I can see why you like that. And you're a blacksmith. I am. Yeah, I work at a local museum. Wow. wow. So, yeah. That's so cool. Very cool. Well, thanks for that. I kind of want to, uh, if Nicole doesn't mind, I want to pick on her a little bit. <laughs> and because uh, I know she's got a oodles of teaware. And I want to let everybody know that Nicole has a really fantastic, if you don't, you probably all already know. But if you don't, she has a really excellent blog, Tea For Me, Please. And she's doing YouTube now, too. And does YouTube as well. You guys so, see her collection in the video. Yeah, yeah. She has a video of the whole collection. And, and uh, I love that uh, husband torture. Tea. Tea, husband tea yeah, 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 that was good. Yeah, I love that. So, um, I just wanted to shout that out. And then, if you want to show us off something, Nicole, but you, if you don't have anything ready and you're not on the spot, just my big thing is I really love tiny teapots, uh, mostly because it's just me drinking most of the time. Right. Um, so, like, this is one of my favorites. It's a Peter Novak. Um, so it only fits like three grams of dry leaves. Like it's really, really tiny. <laughs> wow. Oh, I love those mini pots. Yeah, and yeah, it's a mini. I just love she it. She loves mini pots too. <laughs> it's especially if it's just me and it's like a wee oolong or something like this is perfect. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I also have um, this one as well. It's also not quite as tiny, but it is also really, really small. I like the shape. And that's a, is that glazed inside? Yeah, this one's glazed. It's like not quite Ruyo, but it's it's somewhat similar. Like so it does have a little bit of crackle to it. Oh nice. Nice. Cool. I I realized when you showed that I don't have many teapots with those little legs. You know the yeah, little legs mm -hmm. underneath? That it I found tiny, myself tiny legs on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of uh, teapots have those legs. Mm -hmm. or yeah. missing something in the collection yeah and um brandon i think you you have a teapot right i'm um, pretty sure yeah yeah uh this is this is the one that i bought from you guys actually so uh, back in uh february at the toronto tea festival nice. so right it's really nice it's oh. got uh well, it's got some tea in it right now already. You can't really see it, but nice, nice. but it's it's been uh, a good service to me so far. Right. Um, but I do have some other stuff I want to show off too. Uh, I know we don't really, you guys don't really do Japanese tea, but I do have this really nice matcha. It's all good. Bowl. Actually, we love seeing those uh, things that we don't see as much. So this is for matcha bowl, the whisk in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a really nice uh, local uh, Japanese um, shop here in Toronto. Um, nice. They have a whole bunch of uh, like dishware, teaware that's all imported from Japan. So it's not exactly cheap, but um, the quality is definitely there. So, uh, you know, it, it's much of an artwork uh, as much, you know, a, a vessel, I guess, you know. Right. Um, and then this is something that I also got. Uh, it's just a little tiny teacup, oh. but it has a flower design on the bottom. You can't really see it, I don't think, but oh, it yeah. is gold, like gold yes. leaf on the bottom. Oh, there's some gold leaf in it too. Yeah, yeah, underneath the glaze, there's a gold leaf and in there. And if you hold that up to the light, do those petals shine through a bit? It looks like it's... Yeah, got that you can get the light in there. Yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah. And it's, got, uh, it's, a, it's a raw finish uh, on the bottom edge with a bit of glaze over top, so it's just really really nice oh that's and gorgeous. i really mm -hmm. love the edge how they did that uh, pedal like effect i really love those oh the way they've dimpled mm. the edge uh, mm. around oh yeah, yeah 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 there's a lot of small details it's gorgeous that's gorgeous it looks pretty thin too huh it's a nice yeah it's not it's not too thick um yeah it's an okay yeah i see that yeah, yeah. but it's nice but it, it it's it's a solid teacup <laughs> that's for sure that's good. I enjoyed nice. many teas out of it yeah gorgeous um and th those are the main ones i wanted to show so won't take up all the time <laughs> thank you oh, that's so cool i really love that teapot not teapot sorry the teacup because yeah. it has those of flower effects to that i have been looking for something like that for a while but 
every time it's you know when i look at some teacup that i really love and i see the price tag it's like let me think about it because i break a lot of teacups <laughs> so, you know at some point i just like i'm it's, not sure i want to spend so much but sometimes i feel like i it's actually me who breaks the teacups but uh, it was the tea itself that was going to be expensive getting into this hobby but i'm quickly learning it's the tea wear yeah 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 or it can be the double whammy <laughs> <laughs> I, it depends on the age of the tea, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm thinking of uh, heading back over to Cole's vast collection. I saw a lot of nice looking teapots there. Yes. There. And I saw the green one, the Ben Shan Ni. That oh, yeah. Did I? Yeah, did you I? saw it. I saw it too. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Oh, oh, I love the spout. I love those. Uh, similar to um brandon spout like those really uh sort of snub nose just mm, just a little bit of very kind diminutive of spout i love mm. that they surprisingly usually like in my experience they pour great like they you don't need a long spout to have a good pour what do you that uh, use that a teapot for which tea you, you use? that particular one actually i have two teapots for black teas that one's for smoky blacks Oh. oh, good choice. <laughs> because uh, I don't want to sort of contaminate the non-smoky with that. Uh, sure. sure. Makes like, sense. Totally. Makes sense. Totally. Yeah. And then this is an interesting one. This is Purian clay from Taiwan. And I use that for my high mountain oolongs. Wow. Okay. Okay. What and is that a clay? It's a special clay that they blended strictly for Taiwanese uh, oolongs. Oh. And a lot of people uh, in their, their marketing literature, they say that because it's porous that you should use it for um, like a ding, a dong ding tea or something like that. But I've tried it with the, high, the really high mountain ones like um, uh, Alishan, uh, uh, Lishan, and, and such and I, I find it's it's done really really well with those it actually seems to bring out the sweetness of like the, the floral notes mm -hmm. nice oh interesting oh, good call i think we may be maybe a good call we just scrolled down on the attendees and almost left out uh maybe igor and david have some stuff they want to show off because we can't see everybody at once on our uh, screen if you go to the grid it'll actually pull up a little just quickly unmute means we muted them no or no they he, he can unmute oh, himself oh, as well okay. but it's i think them. we can okay, too okay. but okay. we'll let them do that we don't force people to talk yeah no there's no <laughs> no obligation to uh to participate i just want to make sure because uh now we can see everybody all at once with this view. I think that's okay. a little handy. so yeah igor or david just chime in if you have any uh tea where you want to show mm. off or any questions i think we all have some experience with maybe not teapot, but at least some clays or stuff. What do you guys think in terms of how much the impact to the clay could have on teas and stuff? I can start myself. Like I do feel the difference, but for me, it's very like say 10% at the most in terms of the taste of the tea. Right. It's not a major, like a game changer, mm. I feel. And because uh, I think David, uh, David asked uh, on YouTube just a moment ago about uh, which tea wear, which, uh, which kind of a clay for which kind of tea. Like myself, I oh, right. don't have a lot of a preference in this. For me, it's the shape. Is that practical to use with um, different uh, shapes of leaves? Right. And um, yeah, like, I because I feel like they're pretty high firing temperature most of them like high mm. enough for me that that's a big category. I don't know what what do you guys think? I I definitely agree. Like it does make a difference, but from mm. like different types of clay, I it's not a huge difference for me. Right. Um, and I find like it it really like until you're using that pot for a long time the clay is going to be sucking things out of the tea. So it's really hard to tell what the difference is uh, where like, I find I don't use clay as much because of that. Mm. 
Right. Whereas I use basically only clay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All guy ones, but. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We're all really well painted. <laughs> So is Cole, is there, are there any teas that you don't use for, uh, with the, um, with the clay teapots or basically all of them? You have a teapot? All of them. Now, I, I used to brew whites in, in a guy one. And then I, I went to a little tea shop in Chinatown in, in Vancouver. And he says, oh, I'm brewing some white. He says, would you like some? I says, sure. I says, you brew it in a yixing? I thought people just use glass or something for, or, or, or porcelain for that just oh you have to taste it and I was just blown away and that was it <laughs> I right away bought a teapot for that as well nice right right it does soften I mm. for me my criteria is like a green tea almost I I never use clay even like a clay uh, unglazed uh, guy one I don't like to use that because Green tea, especially Chinese green tea, are more gentle-ish mm. aroma. And with clay, it does give that a lot softer. Well, it does, I feel like the clay stuff would do really well with those most fill ish stuff. Right. Like white tea, I would definitely use, like I don't have any problem using that mm. with a clay teapot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. My biggest uh, difference I've noted was I, I was in that, that very same shop actually one day and his wife was serving tea and she says, do you want to do an experiment? I says, sure. I like <laughs> and <that>. so, <laughs> already. <laughs> and so she, uh, she pulled out a, a, some teacups I was planning on buying and then the ones that they normally serve tea with, their little, little teacups they serve at their table. And then she went into a, a cupboard and bought out another one, set it down and she poured, she was serving black tea and she poured it out it, it some into each cup and she says okay taste them okay she says now out of 10 for each cup i says nine three yeah and and four or whatever and the one the new tea cup was i was planning to buy <laughs> i wasn't interested anymore and the one that tasted amazing she says that's actually celadon she says from 1910 and they sh when they go to china they bring this old celadon porcelain back and it's yeah it's definitely it definitely tastes better and i don't know why wow it's uh, the old glazing or something there's something about it it really makes the tea taste uh brighter it brings things out that you don't normally taste mm. Wow. And I would never have believed that until, so yeah. I've since bought three right, of them. <laughs> right. And it was a pretty big difference based on your rating, right? Some, somewhere oh, in the eight, huge, eh? Wow. Yeah, that is amazing. From the cup, and I would never have suspected that. Right, right. And they were all glazed cups, too. So it was just different glazing. Is that true? Or were some of them uh, unglazed and some glazed? It's... It's a, it's an older cup and it's not it's not finished very nicely. It's kind of, the glaze is lumpy, like it's 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 kind of crudely made, and I would never have even considered that cup because it doesn't look all that nice. Right. But the taste is amazing, and since then I bought two more. Wow. So what about the shape? Are they about the same shape? Like um. The shape of the cup. Yeah. I. I could run and grab it. <laughs> Just a second. Okay. <laughs> Love to see that. Well, because I definitely noticed the difference in terms of the cup shape affecting mm. the tea because, you know, different shape has different. Sure. Yeah. Uh, all times we have the, uh, the oolong, the tastings. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah, it's, it's not finished very well. Look at it's, it's all kinds of imperfections in it. Yeah, yeah. It's lumpy inside. Like it's it's mm -hmm. it's not finished all that well. But the the taste that you get from that cup is extraordinary. Wow. And so that's an old like that's an, an like an antique cup. Is that what you said? Yeah, he said that would have been like nineteen hundred to nineteen ten, something like that. And they. Actually, a lot of this stuff from them is really old. He's really big into antique stuff. Uh, like this, this is 1940s. Oh, cool. And so, yeah, he's got a lot of really old inventory. 
Um, he bought actually a collector. Uh, uh, someone passed away in Vancouver and he bought the entire collection of hundreds of teapots from the sun. And so he's got a lot of really old stuff, never used, but it's, it's, it was made a long time ago. Never used, I know, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. So impressive. Yeah, like stuff like the, the old teapots, like this one is, is, is single hole, like most of them today wouldn't be. Single hole meaning just the spout? Like there's no air or, hole in them? Yeah, they used to put one hole in them, apparently. Now these days there's like a whole pattern of uh, holes. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. A pattern of a what? Like you're talking about the air vent hole? The hole that goes to the, into the spout. There's only a single hole. Oh, oh in, inside the pot, right? Yeah. Oh, oh the filter. Oh. Right, right. All oh, right. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, Interesting. Cool. Hmm. This has been very, very interesting. Cool. Uh, in regards to clay types and pots, um, I, I've, pro I think for the first pot, first Yingjing pot that I bought was definitely a fake, because uh, I bought it here in Toronto in Chinatown at a random shop for twenty dollars, brand new, and this was before I knew how to, you know, judge the pots. And I drank out of it for maybe a good solid two months, numerous times, uh, seasoned and everything, but the tea always tasted stale. Mm -hmm. And I went online to figure out like, am I doing something wrong? Am I using the wrong tea? Um, and people told me that you'd be for that price and based on what you're telling us, likely it's not real, like actual Yingjing clay or some mm -hmm. weird mixture or something like that. So. I ended up just getting rid of the pots. Um, and then once I got this one, um, it was totally different, a whole different world. Like it just, it gets better with each, each, each brew. Awesome. So you definitely want the real thing. Yeah, yeah. Was yours Roshan? I can't remember if we asked which, what tea you were brewing in that pot. Uh, oh, sh uh, Shupuar. Shupuar, that's right. Yeah. So, mm, awesome, awesome. Yeah, it definitely makes a, I'm kind of on the same page as you, maybe not surprisingly, <laughs> but um, we did a side by side uh, quite a while ago now. We should do that more though, of the same tea mm -hmm. in like a glazed gaiwan and teapot just to see the differences. And um, especially I found with oolong, it really pops more, right? Um, the, the clay seems to impact the aroma and those, especially the high notes of an oolong, mm -hmm. if they're there. Um, uh, and it does have that softening sort of almost thickening aspect. So I found that was really interesting. And I was kind of shocked when I first discovered that, that the vessel could actually play in. It's not like, a, like you said, it's not a big game changer. It's not a, it's not going to make a, a, a bad tea good. Um, and it probably would have make a good tea bad, but it's definitely noticeable, right? Mm. When you have them side by side. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I just got the warning from Zoom that we're in sort of the last 10 minutes. So uh, no, no need to hurry, but um, I'm thinking we'll probably, does anybody have, I guess, in the, since we're getting close, if you have anything, any of the burning teapots you want to, <laughs> hopefully they're not actually burning, but if you have a burning desire to show us any teapots, get them out now. Um, or tea pets. I know, I think there's at least one other person on here who has a tea pet addiction too, I think. Okay, she's laughing, so I think I'm right. Do you have any tea pets you want to show us? Because I love tea pets too. They don't have to be clay, but. I really like, like, he's so big that I really never use it because it takes up like the whole tea tray. Um, but... Is that a laying down Buddha? I can't quite. Well, it's kind of like a, tiger-y, dragon-y thing. I'm not really sure exactly what kind of creature it is. Oh, I've oh. seen that on Instagram, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's awesome. That is a really epic tea pet. It's big. It's like this big. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty <laughs> sizable. I can see why, like, it would take up our whole tea table, too. Mm. Anybody into tea pets besides Nicole and us? We're kind of groovy on tea pets. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to go get one thing that we did a show off, which is the cutest thing in the world. Oh my god, I don't even know what he's gonna show. <laughs> mm, just a. No, I have. 
I have a very tiny little uh, frog here uh, that I love to have tea with. And he gets his own little pond uh, in his, uh, in my tasting cup there. Uh, so that's my little frog. We go on tea adventures. Oh my God. Awesome. I have a similar size, uh, a little one, but that one was an uh, instant burner. Okay. So we, we obviously have the tea baby. If you've seen us at festivals, you've seen this little guy. He comes with us and everybody tries to buy him everywhere we go. But this little dude's not for sale. But that's, this is kind of the tea pet that crosses the boundary <laughs> of tea pet slash teapot. And these things we bring too. And check this out. I don't know if it's really clear, uh, really close, but uh, the lid open. actually comes off. So I have a, a tiny little lid on my fingernail here. Um, and, and it really has like, it doesn't pour well because the viscosity of water doesn't work well with holes this small. But uh, I think that's the reason. But so that's a cute little teapot that is a tea pet that we, and this one, we, you ha we had this since the beginning, but it was all brown when we first, when I first discovered I it. I only poured tea on it. I never po she, polished yeah, it. It didn't get any love. You know, like sometimes you polish your teapots after you're done. So one day after a tea session, we'd been pouring tea on this guy for years. And I started polishing it. And I don't know if you can see the pattern on it, but it's got both red and beige, like t almost like tiger stripes. And it started it's, to pop uh, marbled out. almost. That's right. That's right. And it started, that started to pop out and you kind of freaked out a little bit, right? Yeah. I didn't know. I she had was, that for years. She was so happy. She's like, it's so, in so it went from quite beautiful to like, I don't know. I think it's pretty stunning. And it's got a little lid and a little spout and everything. So those are our teapot tea pets. Um, I just thought of those when I saw the um, Nicole's big tea pet. I was like, oh, you've got tea pet. I've got my little frog here. Oh, nice. it, actually, it actually changes color. Let's see if I can show you here. Oh, this is epic. Oh, wow. that's oh, a lot of that. color different. Yeah. And so that's heat activated? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just. I guess I have some kind of, well, actually I know it's paint because a, a little bit is coming off here because I've used it so much, but uh, I, I think it's just some kind of temperature reactive paint that's on it because it's, it's not clay actually, but yeah, it's, it's cute. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's like cool. those are PPE boys, you know? I've never seen those, but have you ever heard of the, the peeing boys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the water on them and then they pee for a little while? Yeah. This yeah, is that's fun. Awesome. Yeah, that's just awesome. I, right. I would definitely, if I ever see one of those, I'm definitely grabbing it. This is one of those. Uh, yeah. So oh, yeah, that's that's the one. Just color, and then we've got uh, the little Buddha. Oh, Ooh, nice. those are really similar to my mom's. Her, her mom's one. Buddha, not her but mom. But the one that's really cool is coming. <laughs> I've got a fat cat coming. I'm waiting for that one. A fat it's, cat? It's quite yeah, fat cat, yeah. and it, it's a, it's it's a prosperity cat. Oh, <laughs> right, the bring money cat. It's got the, yeah, it's got the hand up. It's it, it's got a really cute smile on it, and it's got a great big belly. The fat cat. Nice, I love those. <laughs> uh, she can't take me anywhere. As soon as we go out for Chinese anywhere, I walk in the door and I'm going like this because they always have it at the door, right? <laughs> the little little fat cat, and she's like, "Quit it, quit it." Anyway, that is awesome. I think uh, if anybody have anything else, like I, I think we're pretty, this was great first. I don't, I don't know when Our we're- Our very first Zoom session, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, there's only about two minutes left, so I don't want to get cut off. So I'm kind of, I guess we'll kind of wrap up. I want to say thanks to all of you mm. for participating. Um, it, I mean, it couldn't happen without a bunch of people kind of willing to nerd out with teapots and just chat about them and stuff. So. I love that. Uh, it was it's great, so to, great to see your collections. It's just so fun to and see And to what see you guys having. and see your faces and hear your voices. You've been, uh, we really appreciate you jumping on the channel and checking out our videos and stuff. And um, you look much better in person than your icons. <laughs> um, like most of them are just a little YouTube people, right? So it's really great to see you guys and, and hear you. And, uh, Yes. And uh, yeah, so it's been fun. I hope we can bring that together. <laughs> yeah, no mm. worries. No worries. Mm. Thanks for the ideas. All mm. half the ideas. So the next thing we're going to do. 
Oh, we didn't catch that call. Sorry, we're. Oh, maybe we should do one with tea. Pulled up all of our yeah. our, yeah. our um, well, cakes and stuff like that. Bricks. Tea collection would be fun. We're going to do a tea spelling bee, but I think we might do that one right on YouTube. So stay tuned for a tea spelling bee. That will be weird and fun. Anyway, with yeah. that, I think we're going to uh, we'll let you guys get back to your evening. Thank mm -hmm. you again, and. Yes. Uh, Keep steeping, I guess. We always say that, so I'll just say it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird when you say people <laughs> and you say keep steeping. I guess we're still going to steep, so. Yeah. All yes. right, guys. Have a good evening. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat>